Well, hello there. I haven't made a video lately because I've been so doggone busy with my outdoor gardening. Every time the weather is nice, we're really having a, a gorgeous April this year. And um, it, it goes up and down, but every day that's really nice, I'm out in my garden, I'm amending my soil, I'm setting up garden things because I'm not getting any younger. And I do intend to keep gardening because I like it. It keeps me busy, uh, it's healthy. And um, so I'm sort of preparing for the future when I can't sit on the ground and garden too much anymore. So my plan is, <clears throat> I already have two lovely raised garden beds that are sort of uh, waist high. So I don't have to keep bending over because that action is what actually gets me really um, in, in pain. I can start out okay in the morning, but by the time afternoon comes around, I'm pretty much shot. So uh, I'm trying to set up my garden so that everything is raised pretty much. I do still have some of those city picker boxes. I have six of those. And eventually I will take the dirt out of those and maybe put them on cement blocks and raise those up a little bit. But for now, I'm gonna keep them the way they are. They're like a raised bed level at this point. But I know I won't be able to do that um, sometime in the future. So my plan is um, to maybe every year buy one higher raised bed and, and so that it looks more uniform. But this year I have grow bags and I have them elevated on, on different little tables and things like that. And it works fine. Uh, uh, it's not the most beautiful setup, but it's working. And so um, until I switch it over, that's what I'm going to use. So um, I did plant some seedlings that I need to repot into a bigger pot, my tomatoes and peppers and a couple of eggplant came up, but I use those small cells with, with the uh, greenhouse dome on them. I do not like them. Last year I used bigger containers and I had a much better outcome with my seedlings. So uh, I'm not going to use those anymore from now on. Um, I'll just donate them to charity and somebody else can use them that has more patience with them. I find that they just dry out too fast and <clears throat> the seedlings will come up and I, I miss them and um, they just, they keel over. So it's real hard to balance the moisture in those because if you keep them too moist, then they get the, the fungus and they have the, the, then they die off at the roots. If you don't keep them moist enough, they, they just shrivel up. So I, I found them very cumbersome. I'm going to save what I can save. I, I do have some plants, but um, so <clears throat> I have a lot of little nursery pots that I've gathered over the years that uh, I cleaned up and that I'm using. And now I'm filling those up with regular dirt uh, potting soil and putting them in my little greenhouse, and I think they'll be just fine. So let me show you what I'm going to be using from now on in. So I have these pots that I've gathered over the years, and these were all full of nursery plants, and I've cleaned them up, and I have more of these. So any of the little cells and things like that, I don't care for. So I will be using these. This way I don't have to keep transplanting from one to the other. These will be able to grow quite well until I'm able to put them out in my little greenhouse. And then from there, I will put them directly into the garden. So those will be what I'm using from here on in. And um, if you're going to germinate seeds in those, you can always take 
you know, don't fill them quite up to the top and just take some saran wrap with a rubber band until they, they sprout. And you can put like three or four seeds in those and, you know, they'll, they'll grow okay until it's time to go into the garden. So that's a plan. I always have a new plan until I find something that works. Um, I just keep trying different things. So I did buy a little raised bed uh, from Walmart. Now this is smaller than my other one, but it's a nice size. It's probably, oh, I would say 10 gallons, but um, I'm not quite sure how big the, the grow bag part of it is. But um, so yeah, so that's my plan. And I'll show you what I got from Walmart and then I'll be back. So here is what I got from Walmart delivery today. I was out of creamer. It's always about the creamer. So I got three of those and that should last me the rest of the month and part of next month. And I got this garden box because I'm getting ready for the garden. And I've decided that once a year, I think I'm going to buy one of these types of raised beds because the gardening is getting more and more difficult. And this is a really nice resin um, wicker that I got from Walmart and it was $67, which I thought was a reasonable price. Has a little shelf on the bottom, so that's going to be going out into the garden. And a couple of the other things that I got I'm having already problems with bugs and nothing's even much happening out there yet. <laughs> oh well, welcome to gardening. So I got this, uh, this is for Organic Garden, Maggie's 3-in-1 Garden Spray. And I also got a neem oil spray because I don't really want to put a lot of chemicals on things that I'm going to eat. I had to restock some of my teas for the tea I always make, and I use usually five tea bags for that. And I got some of the Mayacopa beans, Coba beans, um, and I really like these. They're, they're a very mild bean. They're sort of creamy and have a little bit of a nutty taste, so I like stocking up on those. And I got... Um, a couple of plant-based yogurts. I'm very happy now that Walmart carries this. I don't have to go anywhere special because I like the bigger containers of plain so I can um, flavor it myself. And I like this stir water enhancer because it's with stevia instead of um, Splenda. And then I got these birthday candles and I was actually going to buy Walmart's brand of, um, of um, hmm. yep, senior moment, <laughs> the, like the Crisco, but Walmart's brand, because you can put one of these little candles inside of it and then uh, make long burning candles out of them for emergencies. So I got the candles anyway, but it seems like they're always out of the Walmart shortening. But I'll, I'll get that one of these days. So that's what I got. I spent $120, uh, which seems like a lot, but 67 of that was for this. And it's very easy to put together. You don't need any screws or nuts or bolts. It just sort of fits together and then... It has this, um, it, like a grow bag liner. So uh, I was really happy to get that. It's not as big as my other raised beds, but I do have a spot for this. And I plan on growing a lot of vegetables this year. And hopefully the bugs will cooperate. All right, so that was my Walmart haul. If you can call it a haul, it was just very few things, just a few um, food items that I needed that I was running out on. 
and it's almost always coffee creamer. <laughs> Not that I drink that much coffee anymore, but I, that's my favorite and that's what I like. So, and every time I buy a different flavor, I, I just don't like it as well. So, um, I'm going to go plant some things out in the garden. And once some things actually pop up that I can show you, um, I've got potatoes out there. I've got carrots, peas, um, green onions, scallions, regular onions, um, some radishes, and some, I planted some beets, but the beets, and they usually come up pretty quick, they just, they're gone. And this is the part that I'm having the problem with. I'm having um, a problem with the fungus gnats and the one container, the one bag that I put the um, beets in, it's just loaded with fungus gnats. So I'm going to have to do something about that because the little larvae, they eat all the roots of your veggies. So before you even get to them, they're gone. So something needs to be done and I don't want to use anything that hurts the bees and the pollinators. But these little buggers, they're a pain. I had them last year when I was doing my seeds in the house and they are a real bear to get rid of. I had to constantly spray with neem oil and uh, I finally did get rid of them. I got those little sticky things and those seem to work pretty well. But uh, I have a lot of house plants, and the last thing I need is a, a house infestation with these little creepy bugs. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Um, I will be updating some of my gardening when I actually have something to show you. Right now it's just dirt with little tiny things that you can hardly see. But, uh, yeah. So I wish our growing season here in, in Ohio, I'm in zone six, uh, where I live, six A, B, I guess you can go either way. Um, and it's it's sort of a, a mathematical problem of when the last frost date is. Um, they say the middle of May, like after Mother's Day, but that calls for a very short growing season, especially for things that like to bolt, like spinach and lettuce and, and uh, all those greens, which is really what I like. So, but you got to work with what you have. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I want to wish you abundant blessings. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. I love you guys, God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. 